What's up guys, welcome back to It's Everywhere. Um, so on this job, this client's phoned me up basically saying that she's had a home buyer's report done and they've noted that they've got Artex ceilings throughout uh, and a suspected water tank up in the loft. Now I've got here and I've basically said I'll ignore that report because the home buyer's report doesn't necessarily go into detail about asbestos, it's just covering their arse basically. So I've walked in straight away, all the ceilings, are wood chip paper so wood chip throughout and the surveyors just presumed it to be asbestos so the only actual ceiling that had Artex is the kitchen ceiling so obviously I've taken a sample of that and we'll wait till we get the results from it so also what I found is underneath the carpets we've got some floor tiles which are in really bad condition as you can see there absolutely smashed up that all needs to be encapsulated removed something needs to be done with it to get that safe for the new buyer so now also in the kitchen we found the Artex ceiling and then we've got this vinyl flooring now underneath this vinyl flooring is the old paper backed lino now underneath the paper back lino is also asbestos floor tiles. So that all needs to be sorted out as quick as possible for the new buyers to move in. Now, what interested me on this one was the fact that the home buyer's report said that there was an asbestos tank up in the loft. So I've gone up in the loft, masked up, expecting to find an asbestos water tank. So what we, what we actually found was nothing like that. So let me go up and show you what we've got. So the water tanks, the water tanks are actually plastic so that's all fine. But what the report didn't notice was this loose insulation board panel and then we've got another loose insulation board panel at the back there and in here we have the leftovers of the paper back lino all rolled up in the loft with debris on the floor. So that is something else that is going to have to be sorted out. So that was all sprayed down, sprayed down fibre suppressant, uh, made safe as much as possible so that um, anyone can come up here, get rid of it, do a bit of work, whatever they need to do. But they definitely need to get that sorted out before they can use this lock for anything else. What else we found was out here, just outside this window. We've got the socket boards, so insulation socket boards. Uh, once again, taking a sample of that, we'll get the results back from that, let you know what it is. But it doesn't actually have to have anything done with these soffit boards. It can all be left alone. Uh, it's outside, it's perfectly safe, it's perfectly fine to be left as it is. No need to mess about with it. Some people will get them removed just for peace of mind. Um, other people get them encapsulated with plastic soffits. But personally, um, get them covered with some ET150, get it encapsulated and it'll be fine to be left alone as it is. So yeah, this goes to show how important to, it is to have an asbestos survey. Um, because obviously this buyer was concerned about Artex ceilings so you come in here you think Artex ceilings better not drill into them better not cause any issues but what we've actually found is worse so we've got the paperback lino we've got the paperback lino in the loft we've got the floor tiles throughout um, and we've got the loose insulation boards so if you didn't have the survey done then you'd probably go up in the loft you don't particularly know about asbestos you're not wary of what 
it could be in and what it looks like. Um, so things like that insulation board and that lino, you could have just chucked it out of the loft hatch, contaminated the landing, thrown it down the stairs, contaminated all the stairs, the downstairs, everything's then contaminated and just chucked in the skip. So obviously, worst case scenario, chances are it would probably just be left up there for years and years and years until someone decides to clear out the loft. So, but I think that just shows the importance of having the asbestos survey done and making sure that everyone's safe, especially the new owners, if they've got children. Children like to go up in the lofts as they get older to store their rubbish in there. You know, the last thing you want is for them to be chucking asbestos about. So, yeah, make sure you get your Right then, done. so it's the next day. Uh, I've received the lab results. Um, so we've got the floor tiles and the bitumen positive for chrysotile. The paperback lino in the kitchen was positive for chrysotile. The kitchen texture coat into the ceiling was negative, as was the loft insulation board, um, but the soffit boards were positive for amosite. So amosite being brown asbestos, chrysotile being white asbestos for the floor tiles and lino. So yeah, the client wasn't actually expecting any of that, uh, apart from the soffit boards, which they knew could have had asbestos in them. Um, yeah, so yeah, the floor tiles and the paperback lino are going to be a bit of a shock. But obviously I'll get the report done, I'll get that sent over to her, um, and it's something we can discuss whether we want to get it removed, uh, encapsulated, or managed. So we could manage it by just keeping an eye on it, make sure it's in good condition, and yeah, just regularly checking it. Um, with the floor tiles, there was broken edges basically all around the living room, so that needs to be addressed straight away the paperback lino in the loft ideally I'd like that removed the only other alternative to that would be to seal up the loft and not actually use it obviously not really practical in this day and age everyone likes to use their lofts um, some people also obviously convert them into office office spaces so yeah um, something we'll have to get checked with the client see what they want to do but yeah overall not a bad little report